Hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. This is my rain barrel from out at the cabin. I've got two of them. So I'm going to try to connect them together <laughs> and daisy chain them. These are 50 gallon olive barrels. And I've got these bulkhead fittings. You can't see them of course. But I'm going to drill a hole near the bottom of these to barrels and then figure out a way to reach down to the bottom of this stick this through so I can screw this on it and then screw a hose on it and then connect it to the other one and I'll have two 50 gallon rain barrels then And 100 gallons of water will do me just fine out there on a weekend. So let me, I, fortunately where I work, I can borrow tools. And you happen to have a set of step bits, which are awesome. So I'm going to use, a, I need a 1 and 16 inch hole. You can run a 1 inch hole. Drill a one inch hole and then use a file to get that sixteenth of an inch. But I think a step bit will let me do that. Because I can go to probably do one eighth. I'm gonna test it and we'll see. So let me get set up here. And I I'll get closer and that way you can see more of what I'm doing. This is the fitting I have to put through the barrel from the inside. This is the step bit that I'm going to try to drill the right size hole with. <laughs> this is the barrel that I'm hoping not to mess up <laughs> when I'm doing this. I'm going to try to find a relatively flat area. Like right in here. Should be able to do it. I've never used one of these. Wow. You can feel it's measured. They have measurements if you can see that each size and you feel the step as it goes through. So you can tell where what size you're at. That looks a little small. Yep, so it makes a nice clean hole. Let's see what that one did. Ah, getting there. See that would screw in actually if I could get it on the inside. And actually screw it in. Hmm. I'm going to have to go a little bit bigger. Alright. That's what I needed. Can you see that? Yes. Now if I can get that from inside to come through. So this is for the chickens. When the chickens were running around we needed to catch one. You can hook this around their leg and pick them up. I'm going to try it to reach through here because this thing fits on it just right. Kind of. If I can get that through the hole, then I should be able to pull this. Okay. I have to modify it a little bit. Have a little bit of tape, and I may be able to get on here and keep that from falling back. Then it should just stay. 
stay there. And if this works, I'll have to get some good tape. Because this masking tape is old and brittle. But this will be my proof of concept. Okay, let's see if the theory holds water. I'm going to put it on the ground so I can see inside it. <laughs> now let me get the other piece on it while I'm holding it there. Now if I get this out, yes! Look at that! <laughs> All right! Ingenuity strikes again. So, let me get you guys in on that. If I can get that water tight, I have to hold on to this one. Oh yeah, once it got started. It's getting tight. There's one barrel. Let me get the other barrel up here. Do the same thing now. Okay. Now I'm just going to eyeball this. I'm going to leave enough room at the bottom to where settle you know there can be some sediment down in the bottom just eyeballing it here folks Hope I didn't go too big. Ah, perfect. All right. Let me load my poultry catcher back up. I'm gonna get this through. Oh man, I can't believe that. Uh oh. My poultry catcher came out. Let's see if I can hold on to it and get it started. Yeah. The next thing I have to do is put an overflow in here. And that's going to be this. This is going to go through the barrel up here, go through. And then this will go on 
threads the other way so and I can reach this one tighten that one on then this will go inside it and a garden hose will go on here and allow me to, to direct the overflow so now I need a bigger hole see if this is going to be big enough. Yeah, that should work. Actually, it looks like it's about the same size. Yeah, a little bigger. But that's going to go up here. So let me move the camera. The overflow I'm going to put right up here. Because I don't want them to get, they don't need to be any more full than that. So let me put this one, those are going to connect that way, I'm going to put this one up here. I'll screw that one through. Hell yes. Put the gasket on it. Right. Tighten this. This doesn't necessarily have to be watertight because it's overflow anyway. Alright folks, there it is. There's my two barrels. And if you notice, I've got water going in this one. And this one is also filling up. Look at that. No leaks. Nothing leaking down there. Now I'm not going to fill them all the way up. I'm not going to go through, you know, 100 gallons of water just to show how the overflow works. But you know, once water reaches this point, it's going to come out. So yeah, that's what I needed. These barrels, I think I misspoke earlier, these are 55 gallon olive barrels. And judging where I have that overflow, any time I go out to the cabin, I should have 100 gallons of water sitting there. It's perfect. And they should level off. I'm waiting for this one to get over. The, oh, it's about over it. I think this one's sitting up a little bit higher, so they won't get exactly even. But yeah. That's how you fill up two barrels at the same time. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it went under the water. That's why I quit making noise. Let me take this out now. Perfect. Two barrels daisy chained. Hope y'all like this. Remember to like, share, comment, do all those kind of things. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you are subscribed, double check and make sure that you're subscribed because, man, YouTube's dumping them. But I'm heading out to St. Bernard Acres with my ring catchment now. I'm out.